Leaders at the University of Kansas Health System say their doctors and nurses are burnt out. KCTV5's Abby Dodge heard from some of those doctors today. She joins us live now from our newsroom. Abby, what is the feeling like inside the hospital now? Well, Carolyn, we heard from respiratory therapists and an ICU nurse today about their own daily experiences. The workers say they know there's a job to do, but it's hard to escape from it even when they're off the clock. The increase in COVID, it's just, it's kind of wearing on us. So, um, you know, we're, we're definitely uh, making it through, but it, it is kind of heavy. A sentiment felt inside and outside of hospital walls. The president yesterday acknowledging Americans are tired of COVID, but putting it on the back burner isn't an option for those on the front line. If there are groups of people you do not want in getting burnt out who can't come to work because of that, it is the nurses who are there minute by minute, and it's the respiratory therapists who are delivering life-saving oxygen and breathing treatments. Based on recent data, that's what's happening. Doctors on this morning's call say there's now a burnout rate of 40 to 70 percent. For the pandemic, that rate was around 30 to 50 percent. Before COVID, you could kind of leave work at work and now you go home and you log into social media. It's all over social media. Um, you, log, you walk into a store and, you know, you see these people who aren't taking the precautions. I, I think we're going to start seeing a lot more people leaving healthcare just because they are just burned out and um, unfortunately the rest of us are going to have to kind of pick up the slack in that in that respect. When hospitals rolled out vaccine requirements earlier this year for employees, we saw extremely low numbers of workers leaving the job in comparison to what burnout has done over the last year. Abby Dodge, Casey, TV5 News.